With Android Jelly Bean, the emphasis is on speed as we've seen in the past, but that's sort of to be expected from Google because their OS has always been the, the speediest around when you have a pure Android experience. What's really exciting now with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean is that you're getting a lot more functionality with voice and Google Now, which gives you all of the search results that you're looking for before you even think of it, so sort of anticipating your next move. We're gonna show you all the key new features of Android 4.1 and show you what we like and what needs improvement. So one of the highlight features of Android Jelly Bean is Google Now, which is sort of like a search on steroids in that it anticipates your needs and follows your search history and also leverages your location to give you results when you need them and where you need them. So for example, if you swipe from the bottom of the screen here, you'll see that the Google icon shows up that launches the application. And all of these cards populate the Google Now interface. So for example, I'll show you where your next meeting is, even though this one is canceled. It ties into my calendar. This is a search that I conducted last week and it remembers that I like the New York Yankees. So it'll show you your, in a card the score and you can link off to the highlights. This is our local weather. And Google will be adding cards over time Towards the bottom of the screen, this is the traffic to home. So when I'm leaving tonight, I'll be able to know what the traffic is like and if I need to take an alternate route. And if you're near uh, locate, a location that has mass transit, it'll give you some options here. Although we'd like to see the subway, we'll have to try this out on the street. And this is a, some of the, like an older card for the scores. So there's some other things that Google Now can do, and that includes tying into flight status. So if you have an upcoming flight, it'll tell you whether or not it's running on time, if there's any delays. Uh, and, and Google Now also ties into voice. So it'll set up cards for things and give you answers. Similar to Siri, it's a lot more accurate, even though it's not as conversational. So let's try something just by pressing the little voice icon right here. How tall is the Empire State Building? So what we like about Google Now and the new Google Voice Search is that the, the, the voice is a little more natural sounding and, so, so, and it's also very accurate. You can save any of these cards uh, that you like and, and head back to them. And you can also look up things like restaurants. Are there any Italian restaurants around here? So even though the recognition wasn't entirely accurate, you do get a list of results and you can continue with your search results down below. So Google doesn't limit you to this card. There's a lot of stuff underneath if you want to expand your search. One of my favorite features of Android Jelly Bean is the ability to voice type even when you're offline. So let's say, for example, if I'm on the subway and I want to respond to someone, and it's okay if you're talking to yourself on the subway anyway, right? So let's say I, I have airplane mode on here, so you could do this on a plane or anywhere where you can't have connectivity. And the idea is that Google has shrunk all the functionality of its voice algorithms onto the device itself. So we're going to respond just by pressing the little microphone icon right here. Hey Bob, it's Mark. I'm testing out the voice recognition capability of Android Jelly Bean, period. Let me know how this works for you. Okay, so the good news is that the voice recognition was pretty fast. There's a couple of errors in here that we can easily correct just by going over to the keyboard icon. But you know, what we love about this is that you don't have to be online to get this voice transcription. Another thing that gets an upgrade in Android 4.1 Jelly Bean is the ability to send photos and videos with a tap using Android Beam. So Google has beefed up this feature. So if you have two 4.1 enabled devices, here the Nexus 7 and the Galaxy Nexus, all you have to do is just touch the two devices together on the back side. Press this right here and the transfer will start. So you can see on the left hand side, the beam is incoming. The one thing that we don't like about this is that it doesn't show you the progress in terms of percentage. That would be a nice thing to have just to let you know how long the transfer is going to take. If you find it annoying having to go into the gallery in your Android phone to delete images, you'll like this feature in Android 4.1 because if the gallery and the camera app are a lot more integrated and you can swipe away images that you want to get rid of pretty easily. So if you start firing up the camera right here, You can take your photos and they'll automatically appear off to the right hand side. So if you want to get something back, you just swipe over and you have this film strip kind of thing going on right here. So if you pinch, 
you can see all of them at once. And if there's an image that you don't like, you just swipe it off the screen. And you can always undo it. But what we like about this is that it makes it really easy to manage your images and also the storage space on your device. One of the last features I wanted to show you with Jelly Bean is what you can do with notifications. And it hasn't been spruced up all that much, but there's a couple of features here that I think people are gonna like. One is just the ability to see more of incoming text messages and emails. So you can see here that we have not only the sender, but also the first line. And if there's no other app, no other alerts on here, you can actually see some of the first lines of text. And if you don't wanna see everything here, you can just pinch and you can see that those lines just went away. And just like before, you can swipe alerts off the screen. And you can see here that the screenshot that we captured is much larger. So notifications becomes a little bit more robust on Jelly Bean. So overall, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean offers really fast performance, but it's really about the features and the intelligence that Google is building into its next generation OS, especially with Google Now. This service, especially as it gets up and running and learns more about you, is going to save you lots of time. Our biggest complaint is that 4.1 is just not going to be hitting other devices until maybe the end of the year and even beyond because it's not really up to Google as to when its software shows up on devices. But we like the features that are inside Jelly Bean. We just wish that they were coming soon to a device near you.